<laughs> okay. Chem was in school, came on the program. The word Chem, I mean, it's not a tree word, really, but in tree it means we divide it or you know, we split or something. Then during the balloting, so when I introduced the schools, I said, Chemo Serian School, I said, what? Is that, is that a school, a school called Chemo Serian School? So they picked Ghana National. I said, oh, Yebe Chemo. We divide them, break them up into pieces. What they did to National that year? And the following year, they came in, people started respecting them. Because one of their victims was Adisado. Then had the impunity to meet, you know, to beat same, uh, you know, Pope Jones, who were the reigning champions then. Then everybody said, respecting, oh, Chemu, we can't Chemu like that, not easy. Okay, yeah. So the schools that we, 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 we go to, we select. There's an image that I went to Achimoto School. I went to Mpanspin. I went to Wesley Girls. I went to Sec. I went to, you know. And you find that most of the time, the schools that advertise their programs are usually these schools. Image. They build the image in your mind. Gradually, you read about the school, you read about the, the things that they do. So, selecting schools for our children. When your, your child picks a school and, no, 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 you can't go to that. No, why, why, why that school? Now, in my days, we didn't know anything about preparatory school. We went to Saito, middle school. Okay, we went to middle school. So those who went to preparatory schools in our days were very few. Very, very few. So you didn't have the, the luxury of choosing Christ the King, uh, new, which one? Morning Star, whatever, whatever. So even where the product is sold, how many of you, sincerely, tell me sincerely, how many of you would buy underwears, your underwear on the streets? How many of you would? No one. If you were driving, if you were, you were in traffic, you know, when you get to the traffic lights, they, they run at you with all kinds of things, especially around. Um, TUC, shirts, trousers, even jackets, uh, coats. They bring them all. How many of you would want to? But if you're in a car, watch the car in front, right? What you see is that the guy there would be looking into his mirror to see which car is behind him. So that if the car is behind him, he doesn't know anyone, he may be willing to buy something from there. Image image. That is very, very important. You know, even the price. Sometimes you want to buy. When you bought something and it's expensive, you think it is very good. So you choose a more expensive one, especially the young ladies. Uh, they want, they want uh, a new phone. And he wants, which one would you want to buy? Uh, Techno. iPhone. Okay, okay. But your, your yam can give you everything that the other one would give. But they want, def ah, no. They can't give you WhatsApp. But if, if, the phone, if it has WhatsApp facility, but it wants a name, Samsung, what? Galaxy 7 S9. Aha, uh -huh. that's it, that is it. You know, it, when you look at cars, the same. Every car can get you to wherever you're going to. Uh, a tiko. And this is no joke. When you go to Nkoko, you know the, the Kwau Mountains, you know the cars that go up there, tiko. Almost all the taxis there are tiko. If you go to Techiman, between Techiman and Kintampo, very long distance, tiko. It will get you there. Tiko. Yes, the tiko. But you want a Mercedes. You want what? A Lexus. Ah, you see? <laughs> He's already. 
and he's sitting in a Lexus. And you know, on the highways, the most reckless drivers are the guys who drive BMW 2, you know, the 3 Series, uh, or the 1, one Series, um, VW Golf. Those small cars with very powerful engines. And they want everybody to know that they are there. And they just zoom in here and zoom out. Very, very reckless. The image of power, there's power. There's power behind that car, right? And then those are in, in the SUVs, the 4x4. When it is raining, that is what they want to show off. The image of you know, solidity, that they are steady, they are robust, and they go where the others stop. And we say, who who say Obi uh, Oka four four by four? You know, when somebody's showing off, four by four. Okay. We say an image is an organizing concept. An organizing concept, image is an organizing organizing concept, because. Consumers tend to use image to reduce their mental work. You talk about the Lexus and the S, Samsung S what? Is it around? <laughs> I don't know about it. S7, S8, or whatever. It is what you have learned about it, what you know about it, because you've seen it in the art, because somebody is using it. And the way the person pulls it out, of, when, the, when the phone rings, the way he takes the phone out and doesn't hide to pick his call. Somebody does that. <laughs> uh -huh. Please lift your image up, OK? <laughs> Go for those phones that, can, that ring. <laughs> ah, there you are. <laughs> when his phone rings, he goes to a corner to listen to the, to the call. When there are people around, he can't show off his phone. You see? You don't need to reanalyze whatever it is. Because an image has been built. You know about it. You've heard about it. You've seen it work. So when you want to buy it, then reputation. You are a doctor. And I said, if you want to be a parent doctor, that is entirely up to you. Make sure that your, your patients have confidence in you, that you have a reputation for the way you talk to your patients, that there are two or three doctors in the same hospital, the same um, department, that people would want to queue in front of Dr. A as against Dr. B, because Dr. A would have the time to talk to you, listen to you, and chat with you. Whereas this other person is in a hurry, more or less. There are so many people to look after. So by the time you finish talking, he's already finished whatever he's, you know, he's doing with you. So you see, reputation, consistency, trustworthiness, caring, being responsive, and this for you as a doctor to show these qualities. To build a successful image for a brand, we say that it is important to position it as against the competition. There are so many schools. Right now, there are quite a number of, uh, we have University of Ghana Medical School, we have Cape Coast Medical School. Even in the private sector, we have about two or three. Okay, so it is important that we position ourselves and give a competitive advantage to those who are coming here as against our competition. So as a doctor, you have a responsibility to ensure that what you do sets you apart from the others. That everybody goes to, comes to your hospital and you know that when I go to this place, I'll come out um, a happy person because they take care of their patients. 
Drink How many of you drink beer? None of you drink beer. You do. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. What's the problem? What's the problem? Okay. 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 I was going to ask you about some of the claims that the brands make. For instance, club. What does it say? Beer. They're not in club. Now, club beer has been in this country for so many years, since 1931. Everybody assumes that it is an old brand, very tired. 31, that is 80, how many years? 86 years this year. So a brand that is 80 years, it's old. It's old. But what club did was to move away from advertising or selling itself to the older people and actually created a new image as a brand for young people. Who remembers that ad? Charlie Howe. You, you can't remember it. What is it? Charlie Howe. Charlie Fresh. Charlie Howe. Did you see the people in there? Did you see the people in the ad? Very young people. Were you in there? <laughs> Very young people, a new image for an old brand. Where now we look at the younger generation, give them a brand that they can also relate to. And then the bottle changes from the big, big bottle to a slim, you know, portable bottle. That is all part of building an image for the brand, moving it from an old brand into a new brand. So, Charlie how? Talk about um, what are the brands that really we use every day? Uh, cooking oil, Triton. For meals worth coming home to, or meals we can't resist. Now that is what, yes. Okay. So over the years, through advertising, through the people we use through the people who come on the, on the screen. Even the voices that are used build, you know, all these build an image for the brand. Mercedes-Benz had this very interesting ad. They showed a number of cars. You know the shelf, the, the front of the cars? A lot of them are looking like Mercedes. They say, a Mercedes is not just the looks. It is the engineering. Then in other ad, they say, one day, all cars will be built like this. And it is true. You want to see, you want to see these flashy cars, you might think that it's a Mercedes. The way it's been designed. It's not just a design that makes a Mercedes. OK. So OK. In the 60s and uh, early 70s, nobody wanted a, a, a Japanese car. Toyota. Why? When there was Vauxhall, when there was uh, Rover, Humber, you know, those British cars, or Mercedes or Opel, the Opel. Nobody wanted Japanese cars. Serious prejudice against Japanese cars. And, Japanese cameras. But now, over the years, they've built a strong image of reliability, strength, comfort, luxury. Korean cars are facing the same thing today. You go and buy a Korean car. Ah, why? Why buy a Korean car? Now they ask you, why don't you buy a Japanese car? Give the Koreans another five years. Uh, Kia. Hyundai are going to take over the market. That's what is happening. Okay. okay. The image builds trust for a brand or a company, or it, it destroys it. The image you want to build for this institution is a first class medical school, right? Where our students write their exams and pass well. where our students excel everywhere they go. 
and when they go to do their work, as he said, to provide service to humanity in the health uh, sector. That is a laudable thing. We want to build this image. If you go to write your exams and you fail twice, three times, the people are failing. Ah, what's happening to this school? What's happening to this school? People begin to ask, what's happening to this school? Okay. So banks, especially. That is why banks, when people steal money from the banks, they don't announce it. When they are, uh, they are tried before the courts, we hardly report these things, except the real big, big ones. The reason, once you give the banks a bad name, everybody goes, I'm taking my money. Because this bank, ah, don't keep your money there. Don't go to that bank. They don't give you any loan, but they will, they will steal your money. All right. Insurance companies, the same. You know. Insurance companies have built a reputation for reliability, for supporting you. And that is why almost every insurance ad that you see on TV, there's a house burning, there's a flood somewhere, and then after all this, the man goes for his money, or the lady goes for her money, her insurance money, insurance pays, and rebuilds, he rebuilds uh, his, his career or his life. There's destruction, and then we build it for you. That is the image that they give you. That they would always be there to support you. To support you. The banks, they don't use uh, comic characters, com comedians to advertise their brands. They don't. The reason is that money is a business, a serious business. Money is serious business. So if you are going to use my money you know, that way, make it look like it's fun. Uh, when I have toiled so many years to make that money, and then you are joking with it, right? Some banks use comedians in a, a very comic way, and they collapsed in the advertising. People thought, these guys are not serious. They can't be serious. You can't fool around with my money. And then there's uh, somebody holding a bag of money, and it falls. he's taking a bus, and the, you know, the, the, the bag falls down, and there's money spilled all over the place. Ah, these guys are not serious. They can't look after my money for me. Vanity goods. You know what vanity goods are? Those things that you don't need to survive. You don't need them to live. But that's where we build the greatest image. That you go into a shop, you want to buy perfume. Yeah? You won't pick Tulali. Okay? You won't pick Tulali. You want an expensive perfume. You are looking at which ones? Huh? Euphoria. Euphoria is uh, Calvin Klein. So you're looking at brand names. You're, you're looking at, you know, the designers, Calvin Klein. You're looking at, um, what? Oh. Why, don't you buy perfumes? <laughs> uh, you don't buy perfumes? Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're, uh, and then even drinks, alcoholic beverages, even your soft drinks. Your soft drinks. You want to buy Coca-Cola as against Africola, right? You go to a shop, you go to a bar, and you oh, give me a Coke or some soft drink. And they bring you Africola. You say, what? What is this? You don't even want people to see it on your table. Okay, so you ask them, no, no, take it away, take it away. All these due to the image that the, these brands have, okay? They are built for themselves. Entertainment world, right? Actors, musicians, sports stars, business, whatever, whatever. How many of you know George Benson, the musician? How many of you know Michael Jackson? Everybody knows Michael Jackson. 
How do you know Michael Jackson? Huh? <laughs> 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 eh? <laughs> in show business, that is where image comes. I'm sure there are some footballers around who can score goals as, just as well as Ronaldo would do, or Messi would do, here in Ghana. Nobody knows about them. They have no image. When they, the guys want to come and take them away, how much do they pay them? Messi will fetch $100 million. This guy, who, he'll be lucky to get $30,000. Image. He has no image. Nobody knows him. Nobody knows him. But probably juggling the ball, scoring goals, he would do it equally well. But nobody knows him. Michael Jackson, many years ago, went to Coca Cola. Uh, he went to Coca Cola with his team and said, We want to be the face of Coca Cola. And Coca Cola said, we are bigger than Michael Jackson than you. So we don't need you to survive. So they didn't take Michael Jackson. So Michael went away. Then Pepsi Cola heard that Michael Jackson had gone there and had been refused. He said, My friend, come, 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 come. <laughs> How much do you want? So they agreed on the fee. They went to shoot the ad. And they had fireworks behind Michael Jackson's head. That time he had this uh, big afro hair, and it caught fire. The cameras were running. So they saw the fire, Michael Jackson's hair on, on fire. You know what they did? Pepsi Cola said, I, we want that shot with Michael Jackson's hair burning in the ad. Let the whole world know that Michael Jackson loved Pepsi so much that he almost lost his life for Pepsi. That's all, simple. The ad went on. The whole world. All the kids, oh, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Michael. And they all went for Pepsi Cola. Pepsi Cola built up and overtook Coca Cola. So, Coca Cola, the international president, called his team and said, But how come that Michael Jackson went to Pepsi Cola? Why didn't you get him for us? That's when they confessed that, oh, he actually came to us and we said, said, what? Don't you know that Michael Jackson is the world? That every child in this world looks up to Michael Jackson and then you refuse him? The, the marketing department, all the guys in there, dismissed, straight. The vice president, the marketing director, this, 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 for not having the good sense, right? The image that Michael Jackson had and which had now rubbed onto Pepsi Cola, that the whole world, everybody was drinking Pepsi Cola. Pepsi Cola, for once, had overtaken Coca Cola all over the world. And after sacking all these guys, he himself resigned. And his reason was that he didn't have the foresight not to have known that these guys didn't have foresight. <laughs> okay? He resigned. So, here in this business, it is there. If you work in Coca-Cola, your wife can't work in Pepsi. Your wife can't work in Pepsi. Because we are building brands. We are building brands. And we want to ensure that everybody in here is involved. So as doctors, a brand image means all those emotional and aesthetic qualities that people associate with a brand. I'm sure since people are used to big, big books and big, big words, you know what it means here, aesthetic, emotional. When you use a brand and you are satisfied, you're happy. If it meets your expectation, you're happy. You become loyal to the brand. Next time you go to the shop, you want to buy that brand, even though there are so many products in the, in the same product line. For instance, um, soap. Soap. You may use Lux and feel happy with it. 
So when you go to the shop, you want to buy lux. You may use Omo or Ariel. Next time you go to the shop, you want to use it. There are may, many, many things that come in, but emotional and how it looks like, the aesthetics. That is why some products, when you've used the, the product itself, you don't want to discard you know, the, the container. And especially the young ladies, perfumes. She use it as a very small bit there, and then she leaves it on her table. If you like, let's go to your room, so you see. They don't want to finish it, they don't want to treat it, because it's got some um, aesthetic beauty. It adds some value. It gives you image that even when I am not using it, and people come to my room, and they see that this one is there, you know, ah, this lady, uh, she's correct. Uh -huh, thank you, she's correct. Don't joke with her. Don't joke with her. Okay? Alcohol. Alcoholic beverages. Right? I remember many years ago, my, my, my kids, they were going to school our day. And they had been asked to bring bottles because we were going to do uh, squash and share it. To bring bottles to school. Then, we had left the house quite a bit of distance. And I stopped the car and asked, did you take bottles? Did you remember? Yes, daddy. So what, what, which bottles did you take? Where are they? <laughs> Showed me lawyer. You know, this lawyer is a uh, local gin in bottles. Uh, so what? Is that what you want people to think? That, that's what your father drinks? <laughs> no, 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 no way, no way. So we drove back home. Then I went to the fridge. I had dimple bottle. Dimple. Dimple is a lovely bottle of whiskey. There's quality in there. So, <laughs> you cannot go there and then let people think that's the image you're giving about your, your, your family, your father. That your father drinks, you know, no way. So I had to give them you know, new bottles. Dimple. And then one had a black label. That one shows... Aha! That one shows quality. So, that quality, you know, will wrap onto me. The image of quality will wrap onto me and my family. So, that is how I solved that problem. You can't go to school using this. No, 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 no way, no way, no way. Okay, so, the qualities that people associate with the brand. That black label is quality drink. And so if your child comes to school or a day and you're giving them drink or whatever, they are coming for drinks to put in their bottles, and this is the bottle is bringing that means that house, yes, 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 there's some quality. There's some quality there. Not uh, lawyer gene, uh, what, three musketeers. Which one? Uh, I don't go bitters, but is that, is that what you want your child to take to school? To show off, that's what that's the standard in my house. I don't go bitters, please. Okay. So, an image is a total impression of what a person thinks, or has heard, or knows about a person, a product, or a brand, or country, institution, service. How many of you would like a trip to Afghanistan, or to Iraq? Syria. Why? Why wouldn't you want to go? Huh? Your, your life will not be the same. Yeah, he, wants, he wants his life back. That's the image that, that you know, has been created about the place. But there are people living there. Okay. How many of you would want to go to the U.S.? Oh, all. Oh, okay, all. Oh, all of you would want to go to the U.S. Yes. Because of the image. Well, you, go to, you go out there for holidays and come back, and in school, all the pictures that you took, you want everybody to see it. You want everybody to see all the pictures that you took while you were there. In fact, these days with social media, you start sending on, on WhatsApp selfies, so many images. Now, when you come in, you are accepted by your friends, 
that yes, during the holidays, Mary went to the U.S. Kofi was here, and I was there. He was in Disney. He was there. Nobody will tell you that I was at Boston Tree. I went to see Lake Boston Tree. Uh, how many of you know Lake Boston Tree? You've been there, excursion, but not on your own. That you haven't decided that I'm going to go and see Lake Boston Tree. You see, how many know? How many of you have been to the um, Bobri? Butterfly, uh, you've been there. Excursion, school, not on your own. But you don't go to Disneyland on your own because your school is not organized on an excursion. Okay. So it's the image that these people, these places have. Our reaction to objects, people, and brands, countries, almost always reflects the image that has been built in our minds about these places. When you hear Afghanistan, you know there's, there's, a, there's fighting. When you hear Syria, there's fighting. When you hear about this, there's fighting. So you wouldn't want to go there, OK? A few years ago, about, only about two, three years ago, if you were coming from West Africa in, to the US, they would ask you, they would check from your passport, have you been to Liberia? If you've been to Liberia in the past, how many? They'll quarantine you for three weeks. Ebola, that's the image they have of West Africa. That everybody coming from West Africa must be carrying the Ebola virus because it was endemic here. Okay? So it is what people know, what people have heard, what they've seen about you, about the things you do. So as doctors, as you live, um, as you study and then prepare yourself for future life, you must always remember a man will buy a Mercedes-Benz car because of the status image conferred on him by the car. As we said earlier, we pick schools for our children because of the image that the school has. That I don't let my child go to Madina Secondary School. OK. We've gone through all. We use image to reduce the mental work. Once you know about it, when you go to the shop, you don't have to read all the things about it. Because you are going to buy this one. That is why you've gone in there. So, OK, we've, we've talked about all this. The last thing I would like to talk about is as doctors, your hospital. Do people queue for a long time before they get attention? Do you have facilities for the handicapped? Do you have seats in your reception that people can sit and wait comfortably? Image. So please, as we go out, let us always look at how we can build positive image, how we can make people think positively of us and want to come to us every time. I've just been signaled that it's time, right? Because there's a lecture coming on. So we would end this one by saying that image is almost everything. Whatever you do, you build an image. And then you are a brand. Like any brand, if you don't build a positive image for yourselves, the brand will fail. You may be the best doctor, the best in whatever field, but if the image that you've given to your patients, you don't, have, you don't have patience for them. You don't have time for them. The way you deal with them, you are rude and all that, you bring your practice down. So on that note, we'll bring our talk to a close. If there's a question, only one.